Okay, welcome to the phrasal verb lesson today. Today it's feelings. So, if you split up with your girlfriend, you stop having a relationship together. Exactly the same as break up with your girlfriend. This one's quite easy, okay? This one's easy too. To lift someone's mood, to make someone feel better, you cheer them up or you perk them up. Um, it just means give someone a good mood. Maybe you uh, tell them a joke to cheer them up or buy them a present to cheer them up because they're upset, okay? Now, break down is when somebody feels upset. It means very upset. It's a very, very strong word, break down. We often say he broke down in tears. So he was crying, he was really upset. Um, and we also say a nervous breakdown. It's when you're... You, something really serious happens in your life and you break down. Um, so you may say after the death of his relative, he broke down and couldn't deal with simple everyday situations. Okay, uh, you may need to cheer them up, perk them up. Um, okay, calm down is a word which teachers use. Perhaps the children are very excited, they're being noisy in class, and so the teacher says, okay, calm down, everybody. Calm down, it means to relax, calm down. To be hung up about something means to have some kind of complex about something or some kind of worry. So you could say he is so hung up about um, his stepdad. Um, it means he's got some kind of worry or complex about his stepdad. He can't stop thinking about this and it's it's very negative. A hang-up is a negative complex of some description. To size someone up means to judge who somebody is, what kind of person they are, usually by meeting them. <laughs> so you size someone up, usually in your first meeting. You find out what kind of person they are. Yeah, but maybe not. Maybe they are difficult to size up and you can't quite understand what kind of person they are. Okay, to bottle up your feelings, it means to keep an emotion inside of you and not express that emotion and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger inside you until one day it, ex it explodes. So maybe you bottle up your feelings of love for somebody and you try not to show them um, until one day you finally um, tell them all about it. You bottle those feelings up. But it doesn't have to be positive. It could be anger. You could bottle up your feelings of anger. You could bottle them up for a long, long time and then suddenly explode and shout at that person. Okay, to go off someone, we use this for when we don't like somebody. If you say, um, I've started going off that person since he didn't pay me back the money, um, then, yeah, you, you stop liking them. It's the opposite of to take to someone. If you take to someone very quickly, it means you start liking them very quickly. So these are kind of opposites. Okay, to be up to or to feel up to. This has some other meanings, as many of these do. Um, but to be up to here, I mean, if somebody says, I am not up to work today. Um, I am not up to going into work today. It means they don't feel well enough or strong enough or prepared enough to do something. And you could, perhaps you've broken up with your girlfriend uh, and it was very strong relationship and so maybe you even broke down for a few days. And so you tell your friend, because he says he's going out and he's going to see her, would you like to come with him? You say, I am not up to seeing her yet because, you know, I've still got a lot of emotions bottled up and I don't want them to suddenly explode, uh, blow up. OK, stand up for someone. This is when you defend and support someone. Maybe your friend is being bullied and you decide to stand up for them. You go and tell the bully what you think about what they're doing and you tell them to stop. Um, so stand up for someone, defend and support someone or an idea. Okay, give in to someone. If you give in to someone's demands, 
you surrender to your, their demands. So maybe your children want to go to the cinema. And first of all, you don't want to. You say, no, it's a beautiful day. I want to go to the park. But they ask you so many times that you give in to them and you say, OK, let's go to the park. Um, to make up for something, just to compensate. So maybe you upset somebody. Um, maybe you um, offend them. You say some kind of words which offend them. And to make up for it, uh, you buy them a present, or you buy them a drink, or you take them somewhere. You compensate them, you make up for it. Okay, the last one is to get carried away. This is when you are taken by some kind of idea, emotionally taken by some kind of idea. Um, it could be used positively or negatively, um, but it's when you are taken, completely absorbed, 100% absorbed by a certain idea. So, um, perhaps you... Please subscribe if you've enjoyed this lesson and would like to receive more over the next few weeks. Uh, here are some videos on phrasal verbs, auxiliary verbs, tenses, and verb forms as well, like gerunds and two plus infinitive. Um, please watch them and try the quizzes below the videos and uh, I hope that you improve.